Hey guys, this is Brian, aka Texas Treasures, and today I'm bringing you my weekly what sold video, March 20th, 2020. A lot of 20s there. And um, to be honest, it's been a challenging week, right? With, with the health crisis and all the impact to the economy, um, my cells have really been impacted. So I'm kind of curious how your cells have been. Two weeks ago, I had over $1,000 in sales on one-offs. Last week, it dropped to over $600. And this week, you'll see at the end that it's dropped again. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, on, on this video, I will show you what sold. Um, I make these to help you find things when you're outsourcing. But to be honest, right now, a lot of thrift stores are closed. And it's hard to source. You know, we're, we're, we need to shelter in place. We need to flatten the curve to stop the spread of this uh, pandemic. So that's number one, Safety's, safety is the primary concern. Um, and as far as me with these decreased sales, and you know, things were going really well, so it is a little frustrating. You know, I had to, I had to um, let my shipper packer go. I still have a lister, but I don't know how long that's gonna work. You know, if sales keep dropping, I will have to keep cutting, cutting, cutting to make my operation really lean. I've canceled some subscriptions. I'm no, I canceled my list perfectly, my photo fuse, um, some other subscriptions that help on a, on a volume basis. But when sales slow down, you've got to cut those items to, to make things more efficient. So, you know, we got to stay positive. Hopefully this will pass in the not too distant future and we can get back to what we love, which is reselling and finding great treasures at great prices and flipping them for good profit. So that's kind of the pretext or the background. Now let me get into the weekly what solds. All right, and what, as always, I start from the lowest priced item and I finish with the highest priced item and I give you a sales recap at the end. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit, hit that red subscribe button below, smash the like button, give me the thumbs up, that helps my videos and comment below how how are your sales doing during this uh, health crisis that we're under all right first thing that sold this week uh, well on the lowest price item we have a pair of um, nike headbands three of these and these sold on poshmark for 12 bucks i pushed these up at my nike unit and i'll also at the end i'm going to talk about sourcing and I, I did bring up this subject last night on my thursday night live show on the reseller roundtable so if you haven't checked that out, you can check that out. We've got a lot of good information about sourcing and, and ways you can source during this current situation. Anyway, I picked these up at a unit for a dollar and sold them for 12. Next up, we have another set of three headbands. These are blue and, the blue and gold ones, um, probably Michigan colors. Same thing, picked them up for a buck at my Nike unit, sold them for 12. Um, here we have another knock unit and and that is I'll, I'll give you a little tip that is one of the ways you could probably source right now right um, storage units if you buy a storage unit guys if you can find a good one you're not going to have to interact with a lot of people and if, if you pick a good one you can get a lot of merchandise at a really cheap price and that's where these past three items came from I picked this up for about a dollar at my Nike storage unit sold it for 16. These are a pair of uh, Nike Baby Toddler Little Wee Walker. I've sold several of these, too, this week. They are new dead stock, um, meaning they're brand new, but they're about 20, 25 years old and come in the original box. Have the cool black and red checkerboard pattern. Cool little shoes. All right, here we have a thrift store find. Picked these up on 99 cent tag day at a thrift store. A pair of Calvin Klein straight leg dark wash men's blue jeans um, size 40 by 30 picked them up for a buck these sold for 16. <clears throat> so jeans are definitely a category you can you can flip for some pretty decent money next we have a nike windrunner women's windbreaker uh, red and white in color so this on poshmark for 24 dollars paid a buck for it at a garage sale and down here below is the profit, but I'll go over all these numbers at the end. You know, because Poshmark takes their 20% cut, which I'm fine with because it's a really good platform to make sales on. Here we have an eBay sale. We, um, in my Nike unit, I, they also had some wristbands, some Nike wristbands, also brand new. 
Um, here we have a black and white one. These are a set of four and a red and white one, also a set of four. Um, so paid about two bucks for these, sold them for $24.95 on eBay, including shipping. So obviously people love Nike, and it looks like my Nike unit is really paying dividends. And that whole unit I only paid like a hundred bucks for, it. and I've probably made several thousand on it, and it's still it's, it's a gift that keeps giving. So I have a lot more of that inventory. That thing was loaded with new Nike stuff, guys. It was amazing. <clears throat> Here we have another eBay sale. The, the, the same the same shoes I told you about earlier. These are size 2 infant size. Um, these sold for a little bit more than the ones on Poshmark. Got $33.94 with shipping included. Once again, paid a dollar. So there's my profit. Once again, brand new um, dead stock Nike, which is a dream. Here, this is a Poshmark sale. We have a pair of Nike LeBron 12s, a double helix, men's size 10 and a half. This funky purple and gold colorway. And these, honestly, are kind of beat up. <laughs> I had these for a long time, probably because of the condition. I, I don't really know what I was thinking when I picked these up. I paid $9 at a thrift store. But even in the beat up condition, they still eventually sold for $35 on Poshmark, um, leaving me a profit of 19 So it took a while to sell. I was really happy to get to move these out. So that's one of the things when you're sourcing, and I love sourcing shoes. That's my main thing. You know, the condition is a big factor, and I, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked these up, but they do, still did sell, so not a bad little flip. Actually, these, this plate right here sold last night during my Thursday Night Live show on the Reseller Roundtable. Um, this is a plate. It's a Danbury Mint um, Gary Patterson Your Home Plate, and it's a cute little plate. It's got the... Uh, I think it's got the 24 or the 18K gold trim. And that is something to look for on plates. Uh, I'm not a plate expert, but I do sell a few of them, and that's one of the things to look for. And it's kind of a funny, funny little plate. We've got this lady walking in. You know, it's been raining, soaked, the umbrella's falling down, and here's the dog so happy to see her. He's jumping a mile in the sky. And obviously she's about to take a big spill and make a bad situation and even worse. So the juxtaposition of a bad day combined with the love of the dog. Everybody's got to love their dogs. Um, interesting little plate. And on the back of the plate, it's one of those limited edition. Um, and you, you can search this information back here to figure out what these plates are worth. This did sell for the full asking price of $35. I paid three bucks at the thrift store leaving a profit of 25 and you want to show different when you're taking these photos like the edging the back the front maybe zoom in on the details <clears throat> give, give your potential buyer you know lots of good photos that they can look at all right here we have a recent um, a recent purchase a pair of Johnston and Murphy Handcrafted black leather loafers. These are made in Italy, men's size 10.5M, which is medium. Um, these have what we call the, the cap toe. I paid $7 for these at the thrift store. Sold them for $49.94 on eBay. Put a little conditioner on there. Um, you know, these leather shoes, you just clean them up a little bit, put a little conditioner, sometimes some shoe polish, and you can really bring these things back to life. You know, the bottoms were good, give, give all the different angles. Use that nice white background. Um, so these shoes were a big flip. And that, like right now, I'm a little frustrated because I really want to get back into the shoe game. I really want to push that. Eventually, I'd like to go full time and make shoes the big part of it. And right now, it's obviously, you can't get out and source shoes as easily. So <clears throat> it is a little challenging. All right, here. These, um, we've got a pair of new Kohan. These retail for $145 brand new. They're, they're Howland men's black, size 9.5 loafers, slip-ons, penny shoes. You know, get all those keywords in your description. That will help people find it. I paid 10 bucks at a garage sale I went to two weeks ago before everything kind of shut down. Um, so these was shipping for $57.94. Paid 10 bucks for them, leaving me a profit of $40 and change. And these were some, some lovely shoes. All right, and that was a garage sale. <clears throat> Next, and these actually just sold um, just a few minutes ago. 
Here we have a, once again from the Nike unit, a pair of Nike women's trainer escape mules shoes. There's the nine digit Nike number. These are very rare. You, I, I couldn't find any others listed. These are about 25 years old. New dead stock. This really cool red and white colorway. Um, the ones that sold were size seven. And they sold for $57.95 with shipping. Paid a buck. That was in the storage unit, leaving a beautiful profit of $49.07. So, um, this week I had 12 one off sold. Compared to last week, I was at 20. The week before 28 so I'm, I'm you know less I'm about half of my sales from two weeks ago on the number of sales the good thing is I only paid $38 for these um, these 12 sold for 374 and change last week I was in the 600s the week before I was over a thousand so my sales are really taking a hit right now and i'm curious guys comment below tell me how are your cells doing are, are you all also suffering which is why i'm having to cut cut the fat get lean um, lucky for me this is a part-time endeavor i do i would like to eventually be full-time but with our current situation who knows what that's like um, i teach so i am lucky enough to be getting paid and we're going to be doing some distance learning so i do have that to count on to make sure all my all my bills are paid but um, as I've been trying to grow this reselling business, this is definitely a dip down. The average sell price was 31 and change. This would be higher if it wasn't for those cheaper Nike headbands. You know, uh, my goal is to get my ASP, my average sell price to $50 or higher. Profit was 272 and change on this, 73% margin. Now keep in mind, these are just my one-offs. I also sell some wholesale jewelry on Poshmark. I don't go over that on these videos because I just want to show you the things that you can find when you're outsourcing that'll make you money. And with wholesale, unfortunately, I can't give away that information. But I also have the wholesale items, the jewelry items, which are also helping keep my reselling business afloat. Um, while these one-offs take a take us uh, a dip, I currently have 542 items for sale on eBay. Trying to get that number up, um, of course. So that's it for this week, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys are hanging tough out there. Let me know how things are going for you. We, we got to stay positive. Um, spend this time if you got a death pile. Keep listing. You know, if you need inventory, you know, there's some things you can consider. Look on Facebook Mar Marketplace. Look on some of these local apps. Some people might be getting rid of things. You know, if they're desperate for money, really cheap. Some auction sites, you might be able to pick things up for cheap. You can do some retail arbitrage, some online arbitrage, excuse me. Find things on Mercari, eBay, you know, filter by make, model, brand. Find things that are a great deal that you know will sell for more money. Purchase them and turn around, take great pictures, flip them. Um, I mentioned storage units. That's what I will probably be doing once I run out of inventory to list. And I, I still have a while before that, that takes place. And just be creative. You got to think outside of the box, guys. You know, this will pass. We just got to stay strong and we will get through it. Well, that's it, guys. Um, happy treasure hunting when you're out there. And until next time, guys, we'll see you.